Hello everybody and welcome to my first video of my new YouTube channel Art with Miss B. Who is Miss B? It's me. My name is Beatrice and everybody in the United States where I do live uh, they call me like uh, B and my students call me Miss B. So here I am. Why am I doing online uh, video? So it's been like a while since I was online the last time and it was during the pandemic what I was teaching in a school in New York City. I'm an art teacher for elementary, middle school and first year of high school and I am now uh, teaching and living in Bluff, like I live in Saratoga Springs in Utah but I teach in a small charter school in Bluffdale and many of my current students and most of all their parents, they asked me several times if I could do also something online. That They have a very like numerous families and maybe the younger siblings, they are still not attending our school. They want to take some art classes with me and it's difficult to coordinate schedules and everything. And some of my students, they are really, really passionate about art and we have such a beautiful relationship and they want to practice art also during the, the break, basically fall break, winter break, spring, and then the long break of summer. Also, I have some former students in New York City who I miss a lot and they miss me a lot. They have another amazing art teacher. However, sometimes they would contact me through WhatsApp and parents uh, and they are still thinking about the video that I made for them and with them during the pandemic. And so I finally decided, okay, let's try this. But I really want to be true to myself and to who I am. So there is not going to be like there are so many great art videos online. Uh, they are like very fancy, a lot of editing, a lot of pop-ups, but that is not me. I just want to kind of build a community of life that feels as much as possible organic, uh, spontaneous, uh, analogical. I don't know even if we can say something like that. So it's going to be me no editing. Sometimes, you know, I would mispronounce name. You can clearly hear my fancy accent. And uh, because I uh, grew up in Italy and I moved to the United States where I was already an adult and I also speak Spanish uh, other than Italian and English. So this is what happened when you speak uh, many languages, but I feel that it's fun. You know, sometimes in school I would say weird things and my students will look at me and say, oh, don't mind me. But thankfully, as an Italian, I move my hands a lot and everybody's able to understand exactly what I want to deliver. I will base this video more or less the same way that I base my class, my lessons in school. So this channel is very, very good for whoever has homeschool children, which is in the United States is very common and uh, you want to kind of enrich their curriculum. They will be able to build a very strong foundations. I will go through the element of art uh, one by one. And once we got a lot of like a nice, uh, uh, stronger practices, we are going to switch and we can put everything together and uh, focus more on the principle of design. Uh, I have been teaching art uh, uh, for the past nine years and uh, I have a master's degree in sociology and a second like uh, in, that I'm completing right now in uh, teaching fine arts and uh, I am uh, you know studying and taking some more uh, college courses to always uh, be able to deliver the best art education possible. So um, what else to say? I hope to build a beautiful community, very nice safe space to connect with Everybody, like uh, this video are not only for students and kids, uh, this video are for really all levels and all age. Children, teenagers, adults, uh, people who want to become a little better or they don't have any knowledge at all and they want to start to have some knowledge, uh, uh, formal education in uh, fine arts. Uh, this video are beautiful for family who wants to practice and create uh, something together. This video are extremely good, as I say before, for homeschool children. This video are also good for someone, and I have many friends uh, who ki with kids in Italy, for example, or in other country where people do not speak English, but they study English in school. And this could be a beautiful opportunity for them uh, to kind of get that fluency going, although it's an English with an accent, but it's still English, you know. Uh, maybe in the future, I would think about doing some video in Italian or in Spanish, or maybe usually probably that is what happened. I will include some Italian words where I don't get the word in English and say, okay, how do I say this? I exactly the same way that happens in school with my students. I just want to have like uh, my online community getting to know me. So now, usually I will speak much less than this, although I love to speak because 
Italians, we do love to speak, right? And to move our hands a lot. So I feel in, I'm in my natural element, but usually I will speak exactly, like I will give instructions. All the materials will be listed in the description of the video. And today I just felt that I wanted to speak a little more because I wanted to introduce myself and this channel. And so I hope to see many of you. And now I'm gonna switch with this document camera where you will be able to see my hands and hear my voice. And we can do a beautiful project together all all about lines, which is one of the elements that I love the most. Okay, guys, as I told you during instructions, we are going to do our first project and it's going to be all about lines. Lines are one of the most important elements of art and we have many, many, many type of lines. So we have straight lines, we have zigzag lines, or segmented, we have uh, curly lines, sort of a swirl, or scribble. We have smooth and rounded lines, one of my favorite that could go on and on and on. We have segmented or broken lines. And we have dynamic lines so that are the lines that we use when we have to draw something, for example, right? And we need to kind of work around the shape so we cannot commit to the first lines that we create. But we use this type of very like a sort of broken and segmented lines to like help us to create shade, the shape that we want to work on, okay? So today we're going to use like a sort of a smooth, defined, like a smooth, nice line to create a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And this is the idea that I was thinking. And we are going to basically repeat over and over the same type of lines, making sure that we fill the space entirely using one type of lines. It is so incredible and surprising for me to see that one single element of art and also so simply performed like these lines can create something so nice and beautiful that gives us an idea of movement and rhythm and uh, make it just a beautiful beautiful design this design is very nice if you want to prep for example a special card for something a special card for someone special a special occasion and you want a beautiful design so i'm using just regular paper i usually use a mixed media and bristol paper if you have something like that of course so you will be able to use a dry and wet material at once otherwise for this practice also and even in the future use what you have available if you have just uh, this one is for example very good quality recycled copy paper so i'm just like a tracing a rectangle in the center so I can kind of create boundaries and I have a smaller space to fill. This rectangle, as you can see, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, I'm going to make it as perpendicular as possible with the camera, but just a space for you. If you want to use the ruler when you do so, feel free to use the ruler and off you go with your space ready to start. I will start from the corner. I will actually uh use a very I will start with a very small tiny arch smooth and rounded line and I will keep repeating uh, the same action over and over of course uh, my line uh, will become uh, longer and bigger every time that I do because I'm taking over more space now many of my students during the lesson online they used to pause the video get ready with the material that is also described in the descriptions of the video and then they will play the video and practice with me we wanted really to pretend that we were all together in the classroom as i was giving them instructions directions and feedback so you can do something like that if you make you feel more like uh, together this sense of the uh, community or pretending that i'm really with you in a classroom or in an art studio or if you want, you can watch the video entirely and then do your practice. Or you can just like go 
slower or faster for whatever you can pause it you know you do you also if you are a beginner student and so maybe if you are a very young kid you don't have to have this like a tiny little lines so you can leave a little more space between the lines so you, because you're learning right you're learning how to hold the pencil correctly how to move intentionally your hand very slow you are developing what we call fine motor skills now if you're more of an advanced student you can practice with me going more or less at the same pace i try my best i tend to be a little uh, too fast when i do stuff or when i speak just because i'm used to a very 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 fast paced life and schedule but i'm trying my best to find a nice uh, reasonable pace that everybody can follow now if you are like um, an adult with or without any art background and you feel like that you really need a little creativity a little inspiration in your life and you need a practice that makes you feel good and in the same time at the same time helps you with your fine motor skills we all know that getting old like uh, we lose uh, uh, some of the motor skills that might be more challenging for us uh, to coordinate the brain with the hand for example and uh, this is a beautiful beautiful practice that will keep your fine motor skills uh, sharp sometimes you know you can listen to some music and actually after this video for the following video that will be a little longer like because this first uh, video has a longer introduction because I really wanted to give you an idea of who I am and what I'm trying to build here and why I decided to do this channel and what this channel you know can give you and what you can find in this community but usually I will talk less I will explain the project I will explain the element of the principle of art and design that we are focusing on I will give you some tips and directions and then we will go and we will dive into the practice so in that case sometimes I really like after I gave you all the directions to just listen to some music you will watch my hand moving you will do the same hopefully at home or wherever you are and then um, you know you can you will save the project that you create but you can relax with some music with me so is the space itself will tell you how to feel it basically I'm not counting the line I'm just doing over and over the same action until I feel satisfied and then I move on and I add uh, changing a little bit the direction of the arches as you can see I add uh, another uh, pattern and it is so really surprising like kids uh, when we do this uh, uh, work this project this type of activities at school they get surprised because at the end they say wow this looks so cool this looks so beautiful and it's, it looks like uh, that it moves yes definitely because pattern and lines can give us uh, an idea of movement and rhythm an optical illusion of movement there was a during the 60s, an art movement called the opt art that was basically based on patterns and lines and colors that would give us the optical illusions of movement. So a piece of paper cannot really move and our lines are not really moving. However, they seem that they are moving. And this makes this very simple project, project, ugh, sorry, project very, very uh, attractive and beautiful to create. I will leave the project back black and white just because, as I say, this video is long enough. Please feel free to add the colors if you like. You can use color and pencil or you can use the markers. I would like something, I, I would like advise you to use something with a thin tip and point so you can actually go very well between the lines, fill in the spaces. And you won't ruin the pattern that you just created. 
I think I'm gonna add a little like an extra here in a different directions until I feel this corner I will probably add maybe one here in this direction and I know the fact that I'm left hand probably doesn't really help uh, because I cover what I do but many of you will understand my struggle and as I say since at the very beginning I will definitely get better in the future with the video right it's like when we start to something we start and then we get better and better with everybody's support but I also want to make sure that these are very simple video and I give you that impression that you know is that I want it to be low-key and very approachable for everybody so this is the project all done and complete and this is really really cool you can look at it from many different angles and directions i will give you this beautiful idea of overlapping and movement and i really like it so as i say that you can decide to color every single tiny space between the lines using a different colors or you can go with a color pencil and just color one every single like a uh, area let's call it like that uh, using a different color so you will use one color here one color here uh, one color here for example and you can make it as colorful or as plain as you would like now i'm gonna turn back my camera on my face so we can say goodbye I hope you like our first uh, small project, short project, all about lines. I really, 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 really love this pattern. I am obsessed with them and sorry that you cannot see it very well. This was my first uh, and this was the example that I practiced before starting just to make sure that everything was ready. As I say that you can do exactly what I do with me. You can do it at your own pace and time. You can add the colors. You can outlines all the lines with a black sharpie so you can keep it as neutral and as colorful as you want something very important if your parents seen this video for your kids and selective uh, selecting the video uh, but also if you are a student or if you are someone who just decide to practice uh, do not waste paper so please 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 make sure that you place uh, your creation in a place like in a drawer some like in a folder i recommend you to really save all the project together mostly because i told you that i will go in an organized way uh, talking about the elements of lines then we will switch to colors so then we will do texture um, implied and real then we will do like patterns again and then we will do value so i would like to do three projects each element and then we are going to do three projects focusing on a different principle of design so it would be extremely great for you to keep track of everything that we will do together so please just buy a folder or even if you have a big piece of construction paper you fold it in a half you write on the cover our folder 2023 2024 and you start to put all the paper inside it's important for you as a kid teenager adult parents to keep everything organized i will add in the description the list of the material that you need for this project although it's very simple and clear and every time when i add the descriptions you can buy the same material that i suggest you that i'm using but you are also free to use whatever you have available. So I hope that you like this video and uh, you kind of fancy my accent because when I record the video and I hear myself, I say, oh my, but you know, it is what it is. As I say, I'm not going to do any editing to it. And make sure that you subscribe and you wait for other videos and leave a comment to let me know where are you from. And if you have any question, I will be really happy to help you. Bye guys. Ciao.